Copilot, and especially Copilot for Microsoft 365. Today, we're going to talk about a few things. Here's our plan. We're going to kick off with a quick recap of Copilot's core capabilities. There's something that your organization or your customer wants to achieve we'll share the key challenges that we've observed in the field, drawing on specific case studies from recent months of Copilot for Microsoft 365 deployments to highlight potential challenges to your deployment plan. We'll move beyond the marketing speak and explore proven strategies for measuring Copilot's impact, optimizing its usage, and drawing parallels from other web applications with AI integration to help drive that adoption and the measurement of that adoption within your organization or your customer. And BDO Digital takes data security seriously, and you should too. We'll discuss essential security and compliance considerations for deploying Copilot responsibly. Organizations considering Microsoft Copilot are looking to unlock speed of tasks, boost productivity, trim wasted time, Microsoft Copilot is positioned as your new AI teammate, built right into the Microsoft 365 applications that you're using every day. Now, the best part is there's no complex artificial intelligence training or tech stack to maintain. It's enterprise governed, which means that it's relatively safe for the organization. And it's already there in familiar Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Microsoft Teams. Now, the promise that the organization is trying to achieve is we need to speed our sales and marketing team. We need engineering to spend less time looking for insights from the last meeting or action items that need to be carried forward. We need to help finance summarize and publish new numbers quickly. Need to summarize a lengthy email thread? Copilot. Want to brainstorm ideas in a Teams chat? Copilot. Transform that Word doc into the starting point of a PowerPoint presentation? Use Copilot. Increasingly, Copilot for Microsoft 365 is more than just an assistant within those applications. Copilot taps in to the power of Microsoft Graph, meaning that it understands your organization's data in context. And with Copilot extensions and then customization through Copilot Studio, your team has nuanced control over new lines of insight, and you can connect it to even more of your business systems, adding breadth of intelligence to every question. Across organizations that are deploying Copilot based on these promises, anecdotally, we're seeing many Copilot users recognizing the value of the tool that's been put in their hands. They're going from the concerns that see Copilot obtained in the first place, added to the environment, to expressing a need to continue having it, that they want to integrate it even further into their workflow, and they're seeing productivity benefits. Even so, out in working with many different customers across industries, BDO Digital is seeing clients run into a, a few challenges during the co-pilot deployment process. I recently had a chance to sit down with Matt Diliberto, uh, another one of my colleagues within BDO Digital who's working with artificial intelligence customers every single day. So Matt, you're working with clients all the time on Copilot, big enterprise, smaller banks, all kinds of industries. What's driving the Copilot adoption right now? Yeah, thanks, Wayne. You know, a lot of the customers that I'm talking to right now are looking to do more with less. They have a lot of repetitive, manual, mundane tasks that they know they no longer want to do anymore. They realize AI and Copilot specifically can help with a lot of those operational tasks that we do on a daily basis. They're doing more with less. We're in an uncertain economic environment, um, which means you've got to get to that value management super fast. You have to be able to describe for the organization, uh, how did we actually make the money back? that we're spending on implementing, rolling out, adopting Copilot. Can you talk a little bit about what we're seeing as clients kind of go through that cycle? Yeah, absolutely. And, and value comes in different forms for a lot of organizations. The most obvious is where you can save time. And then second to that is where you can improve the quality of the work you do. From a time savings perspective, it will vary depending on the role 
the tools and the technology you're working with, but it can easily be achieved in many ways from saving time with your meetings on a regular basis to drafting proposals, to creating decks, to sending communications. You don't have to do a lot with Copilot to realize that value, right? 15 minutes here and there can easily justify the cost and the value of Copilot. What happens when you can't do that value realization? You, you, you don't have a way to measure it. Yeah, there's different forms that that takes. Uh, Microsoft has great tools built in for you to really measure the value of that through Viva Insights. You can see where adoption exists within the organization of the underlying tool sets, as well as various calculations around how much time can be potentially saved by your users. But then you can also survey those users. It's helpful to establish a baseline before you even get started and then really measure the impact through a follow-up survey after a co-pilot deployment. Matt, one of the things that I've seen you do is lead clients through this Care Plus framework that BDO has. What's in there? Yeah, BDO's Care Plus framework helps our customers navigate this co-pilot journey. It really starts with helping your organization get ready from defining the right strategy, implementing the right governance and security, to identifying the right stakeholders and use cases, to developing a rollout plan, because we know that's important with any form of new technology. From there, it's extremely important that we're deploying this correctly. We want to get Copilot in the hands of the right users. We want to pilot it and get feedback so that we know we're making the correct decisions in some of our preparation. We want to ensure proper adoption that comes in the form of marketing the value of Copilot, training on the appropriate use cases, collecting feedback and measuring some of the impact, and then providing support because we know some of this can be challenging for our end users. And then finally, as you get further along in this journey, it's important to transcend beyond what Copilot can do and start to introduce more data, more process automation through the usage of Copilot Studio. You know, Wayne, I know you do a lot in space. What have you done to help some of our customers uh, navigate the complexities of a security with Copilot? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. Um, we've actually seen some executives stop the Copilot deployment process because they go out, they're in a pilot environment, and somebody asks a question, and they get back results that have HR data, or, or they get back results that have financial data. So. One of the challenges, one of the opportunities is to turn around and, and go tackle some of that homework that, that maybe the organization hasn't done in the past. Um, but in order to recognize that financial data, something somewhere has to recognize this is financial data and know that I should do something about that fact. Um, so that Microsoft information protection work, that Microsoft data loss prevention work, that is foundational work that helps recognize the information so you can turn around and then control it. And wait, after an organization has rolled out Copilot, how can Purview assist in managing and, and monitoring activities within Copilot? You know, one of the incredible things uh, that, that we're seeing enhancements to every day, uh, e even as people are attending Ignite right now, they're seeing the new enhancements that are coming to the artificial intelligence hub that is available as part of the Purview platform that's helping bring together insights from across security and compliance products into one place to answer critical executive questions for how are we doing? How do I get better? What does better look like? And where is risk surfacing in my organization as people are adopting artificial intelligence for the first time? The other thing people are seeing just now, just this week, is they're seeing more and more features tied to insider risk management as new detections are made available that help illustrate not only the, the question of what data is sensitive that's answered by things like Microsoft information protection, but they're being given signals that get tied together to say not only is this sensitive information, but we can look at a pattern of activity with generative artificial intelligence with Copilot, and we can say, you probably should take a closer look. We've been able to separate that which is regular everyday usage from the context of this could be risky behavior that you want to take a closer look at. As you heard moments ago in my conversation with Matt Diliberto, 
BDO's Copilot Care Plus framework has been a critical part of helping clients keep momentum as they're deploying Microsoft Copilot. For BDO, that means that we are engaging with clients, helping them start with a technical assessment. Some of those might come from Microsoft Workshops as a starting point, but then we go to the next step with a specific assessment and a framework I'll show you here in just a moment that starts the process of preparing for an initial deployment. That initial pilot deployment helps develop some of the use cases and also link those use cases directly to areas of value together with Microsoft Viva Technologies and BDO's own Active Insights to help quantify the value that gets created during the pilot process and then identify which of those values are likely to scale well and track adoption over time. The next steps of the Copilot Care Plus framework help through that adoption process and then start the iteration. What did we learn from this initial deployment and how do we continue to scale that across the organization? Getting to that sustained value management journey requires an intentional planning process. It's not simply let's throw some Copilot technology over the wall. Instead, there's the intentional identification of where that value creation happens. It requires an, a, a brainstorming process, an alignment process, uh, identifying specific goals, and then figuring out how do we actually set up uh, the enablement for individuals to use Copilot in specific ways that are going to create those value outcomes. Build that experience in your organization in a very specific center of excellence, and then bring that uh, information out to the broader organization alongside the rest of the technical work that's being done so that the initial experiences happening in a center of excellence can get scaled so that you can actually bring down the time to complete tasks like meeting notes or generating new documents or synthesizing certain financial processes or generative processes that might be happening in your business and, and helping people use prompts effectively. At that point, you can now look and start to develop retrospectives. How are people uh, using uh, the Copilot tool? Are they using it? Where in specific departments, teams, sub-teams, maybe even individuals, are you seeing accelerated adoption? And it allows you to answer the question, why did I get that accelerated adoption? Additionally, you get user feedback, and that comes from an intentional surveying process, feedback creation process, and using work groups that are already organically working together so that you get multiple facets of observation for how Copilot for Microsoft 365 has actually impacted the day-to-day -day processes of that team. And then that sets the stage for you to continue your scale. That sets the stage for broader adoption or adoption in other groups using the best practices that have already been discovered within the organization. You're not learning from someone else's, you're learning from your own organization best practices that resulted in real measurable value. As the rest of the business gets engaged, that value discovery process will help you focus on the specific areas that the notion of Microsoft Copilot and Copilot for Microsoft 365 is going to help me save money or make money into specific places where that is actually happening, measured as revenue gains or potentially cost reductions, measuring the impact that it has to processes completing uh, and the uplift in business process execution. And it could be measured as uh, potentially time savings where you can identify, hey, look, maybe yesterday uh, documenting a meeting would take me an extra five minutes. If I can agree that that five minute baseline or seven minute baseline, whatever that baseline is, every time somebody undertakes that activity, I can credit that amount of time saved. That gives me a way that I can start to do specific value discovery. Hey, look, a hundred times yesterday, users across the organization summarized meetings with Copilot. 
100 times 7 minutes, that's my baseline, that's 700 minutes saved yesterday alone across my organization. And when you do that for task after task, it makes specific dollar-denominated value discovery and value documentation possible to support the business case to continue the Copilot rollout. And BDO Digital helps you throughout that process using the Copilot Care Plus framework in our tooling. With Microsoft Viva, across the suite of tools available to the organization, you can identify specific goals and the way that you might measure those goals and assign them to departments, to individuals with inheritance to get to those specific areas of value delivery within business workflows or overall projects. Using Viva Amplify and Viva Insights, you can start to look at engagement rates with content that was created out of Copilot or with specific Copilot features themselves. And through these measurements, you can get very specific using those baseline assumptions that we talked about a few minutes ago to different kinds of activities and the number of times those activities have been completed. This allows you to report at scale the way that value creation is coming out of Microsoft 365 Copilot, continuing to support the deployment journey that your organization is on. The other challenge beyond value creation that we see stopping co-pilot deployment projects, either at early stages or during the deployment process, is an incomplete appreciation of the risks of artificial intelligence. It's not even about specifically Microsoft Copilot or Copilot for Microsoft 365. It's incomplete preparation, looking at the general potential risks of artificial intelligence, either things like not having skills on the team, not having considered things like data security upfront, or considering privacy implications of artificial intelligence. With a platform like our own chat BDO, which is a web application to access Azure Cognitive Services. You can actually identify a number of tasks that are associated to different personas or activities within the organization. When you record those tasks in the real world, you get a sense of their real world time that they take. And then that gives you a baseline to identify when artificial intelligence either improves, accelerates, or eliminates that particular task from the organization. In aggregate, you can measure the specific value based on the amount of usage of an application like this. You see across BDO, since the pilot timeframe, we've saved more than 274,000 hours of employee time across chat interactions, selling, uh, prototypes for programming, support, and policy research. We can use the same value management approach when we approach Copilot for Microsoft 365. Certain types of tasks are well understood. We know it takes a certain number of minutes to generate something for marketing or to generate a new sales idea, the start of a PowerPoint deck, or to just create a small piece of content that's going to help your marketing engine. And then by identifying the number of times that certain features are used, either transcripting approaches or other types of capability, you can then uh, ascertain at large across your organization the amount of employee time that's been saved with Microsoft Copilot. These value management items can help you demonstrate the value that's being produced by the organization and when you combine it with adoption data can show impact to individual departments and give you quick wins that help co-pilot projects keep moving along. With the Active Insights offering from BDO Digital, we work with our co-pilot adoption clients to help them identify problematic challenges in adopting modern work technologies and getting that value out of Copilot. When we can help them identify that there are certain products that have not been adopted by the organization, or there's a segment of the organization that hasn't completed the adoption cycle, we help them accelerate the value that comes out of Copilot by making sure that it has the right data to work with. It has the intellectual property that's going to generate truly valuable results. 
we can also help identify security challenges or sources of inactive information that actually may load lower the data quality of the results that are coming out of Copilot. This is another place where we see value management coming into play, proactive creation of an environment where only vibrant data is being used to generate responses that are going to be helpful to your marketing, your sales, your engineering teams. And then we can work with this tool set to help monitor adoption of Copilot technologies, including Copilot queries in near real time. Get started today with Microsoft Purview and BDO Digital. Doing effective Copilot preparedness data governance with Microsoft Purview gives you a chance to control the data fabric, integrating key controls from Microsoft Purview into Copilot responses. And this gives you a chance to unify the governance of data and protecting against risks across the organization. And then you can drive adoption more generally with BDO's Copilot Care Plus framework. Now the Care Plus framework that BDO Digital uses has helped many organizations with a proven approach that focuses on value definition, value in the pilot, value traceability, and then scaling that value through user enablement so that adoption happens quickly and can be measured every step of the way. You can use this QR code to get started with BDO Digital and start the data security journey with the discovery process to find sensitive information that could potentially impact your Copilot deployment. You can get live assistance with the BDO solution team to start this discovery process. And then we can provide an inventory of sensitive and stale data that you can use to prioritize critical security controls. And finally, deploy sensitive uh, data management capabilities like data loss prevention from Microsoft Purview while you mature the data security program over time. 